What is up guys? Men and Man 9 on the train. Now, first of all, before this starts, I want to just kind of say something. I'm sorry for my uh, voice. And I honestly don't really quite know if I'm getting sick or not. But, anyway. Um, I've already heard a few stories about people who have seen the metademons coming up. Um, and a lot of them uh, seem to be on a few different ones. So anyway, this is the top five metademons that are mostly cited. So anyway, let's get straight into this. Coming in at number five, we have Corrupted Meta Knight. Now, for the amount of stories that I've seen on Corrupted Meta Knight, there's only been about, like, I think, I can recall from the top of my head, maybe like 20 or 25 so far. And most of the stories that I've heard um, from people is that he mainly resides in, like, alleys or, like, Basically, like areas where not a lot of people will really go to. He's actually even known to appear in darker parts of forests. Now, that is actually an interesting part. Um, also, for this, I will give a little bit of some, I guess, kind of advice or things uh, to keep an eye out uh, if you do encounter these meta things. So, for Corrupted Meta Knight. Uh, what I would say is that if you see a figure who has his hood over his face and it's a gray sweatshirt um, with black jeans and some sort of like bracelets or something and orange eyes if he does expose his face to you, um, stand your ground and if he does turn away from you, run. Like, seriously, just run. Um, some people have actually just, like, stood their ground and not run when he turns. Or at least that's what I've heard, because I honestly, I, I don't know. What am I saying? I am no fuck. Anyway, grab the man is at number five. Coming in at number four, we have Nightmare Mennonite. Now, Nightmare Mennonite, I've heard a few stories about that there's only been, for some reason, only been like 10 or 15 experiences with him. That is kind of confusing. But the reason he's at number four is the amount of psychological pain that he does to his victim. So, here's kind of a bit of some advice if you're ever in a dream. Um, basically, if you all of a sudden hear like a dark, echoey voice that sounds demonic, that's when you know it's him. Uh, also, if a dark hooded figure uh, shows up beside you, also him. Um,. I guess just try not to die in your dream I guess so yeah that's number four for Nightmare Mennonite coming in at number three we have surprisingly Factory Night now Factory Night is a bit of a weird one um, and apparently he's kind of a bit of the kidnapping type Because there have been, at least from what I've heard, been like 30 or 35 worldwide um, kidnapped stories from people who have supposedly been kidnapped by a factory. Uh, so here's kind of a bit of some advice to make sure that you stay away from him. Um, if you see someone walking up to you but has like rainbow patterns on him and maybe has a little bit a little bit of blood on him and you know ruffled up hair I just did that right now 
Um, that's him. Um, and do not trust him. Because sometimes he will try to have you trust him. Don't. Because otherwise, bitch, you're going to regret it. So yes, that is Dr. Knight at number three. Coming in at number two, we have Shadow Knight. Now, Shadow Knight, I've heard a hell of a lot of stories about. Probably, oh god, I don't know, maybe like 55 or 60. Jesus. Uh, so mainly where he resides is in dark spaces, so dark alleys, pretty much any place that has a shadowy reputation. If he's there, I guarantee you're probably not going to be able to make it out alive. Um, yeah, so, so if you see in like a shadowy part of maybe like a bedroom or something, uh, see a purple, like, outline with white eyes up to where the head is, that is him, and if he is in your bedroom, um, and like you're still up for something, for uh, some reason, go to sleep. Like, just go to sleep, and I don't know, maybe there's like a 50-50% chance uh, that he's either going to leave you, or he'll come beside your bed and shroud you with his shadows. Now... I've only heard like maybe 10 or 15 stories of people getting shrouded and apparently they see some pretty fucked up shit. Um, I think only like one or two have not been able to um, uh, escape from it. But yeah, that is Shadow Knight at number two. And coming in at number one, we have not only Death Knight. Now, Death Knight has been spotted by... Oh, God. The guy is practically making a reputation for himself. Over a hundred people have seen him. Can you believe that? A hundred people worldwide have seen or, you know, had an experience with the guy. Some of the uh, stories that I posted on my YouTube channel, those were some of the 100 or maybe even 150 people who have seen them. Um, but yeah, Jesus Christ. Um, also, for the Bass Pro Shop guy, um, I did check with him at one point, and apparently... Apparently Death Knight came back. I will make sure to find the guy's second story. And you know what? I'm actually going to post that as, I guess, like an actual like, um, vid. Because, you know, it's kind of just how I want to do it. Um, but anyway, so if you see someone, if, you know, issue anywhere. Person, uh, black sweatshirt, hood over face, uh, if he does look up, notice for the red eyes, um, I guess if he speaks to you, kind of demonically soft to you, or something like that, I don't know, I, I didn't really quite plan this, um, but I had gone through recently, and I realized that a lot of people had started seeing the metademons ever since, you know, they started showing up. And I kind of just wanted to go over for the ones that have been mostly spotted. Uh, something like that, I don't know. I've, I've already seen like a few videos of... <laughs> I definitely think I am getting sick. Um, yeah. Um, I will make sure to check back with that guy. I also feel bad for the guy. 
He went through so much in one fucking day. Oh my god. Actually, wait, I think there was also a story. Um. I know that there was a story that I read. That someone had reported multiple kinds of demons on the bones. What was it? And I think Deathlight was also there as a girl. I think it was Deathlight Shadow Knight. And I think Corrupted as well. And maybe also Gunslinger Knight. I honestly don't really quite know. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Deathlight comes in at number one. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and also make sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, also, make sure to go subscribe to my second channel. Um, as you all know, boom. I will make sure to leave the name of it right there. Pray that sometime soon I feel better. Because I honestly don't really know if I'm going to Also, for some reason, uh, school apparently is off tomorrow. Even though tomorrow is like, I don't know, coldest fucking day, I mean, warmest day of the week. Because, I mean, this week is supposed to be really fucking cold. So, yeah. Um, and as always, I will see all of you loyal knights in the next video. Peace. And I was out. Bye-bye.